So I just wanted to show you guys how to shampoo properly. So you're always gonna use a small amount, dime size to quarter size. So for my hair, right about there. Mine's about an inch, okay? Then you wanna emulsify it because it has all the natural oils in there. You wanna get those spread out and get them all to cream up together, okay? So you can tell the difference from that. Now you're gonna wash your hair as if you're gonna be pulling your hair back into a ponytail because shampoo really belongs on your scalp. That's the best place for it. You want it on your scalp. So we're just sticking it there. And as we rinse, it's gonna rinse down the hair strand and get the rest of the stuff out. Now you notice, I'm not getting any suds, am I? Correct. I, well, I think I've gone three days to the gym without washing my hair. Now I've washed my body, just didn't wash my hair in between. Um, and it's just breaking down all the dirt and all the sweat and everything else that's in there. So it's not gonna suds on the first time. Do not worry, it will suds the second time. Let me go rinse. Okay, awesome. So now we're gonna shampoo the second time. Again, dime size to quarter size, however much hair you have, and about a nickel size for me. So step two, emulsify. Now the first time you shampoo, you wanna let it sit for about a minute so it can break down all the buildup. Um, a lot of the other products are gonna leave behind like a wax or a silicone, different things like that so the hair strand feels soft, but it isn't. It's just the product on the outside of the strands. We wanna get rid of that so that we can get to the hair strand itself. And then that way, this can get into all three layers of the hair strand and not have to try. See, here we are already getting suds because all of that oil and dirt is gone. And so we're sudsing up this second time. And now this is when it's getting into all three layers of that hair strand, acting like my natural hair oils. It's helping on my scalp because I've cleaned out all those follicles, which goodness knows, three times at the gym, you know that they are all yucky and sweaty and not growing very well because they're probably stopped up from all the salt and sweat <laughs> and everything else. So now we're gonna get all that clean. Now we're adding the natural oils that the scalp needs to be able to grow. And now we're gonna get more hair growing. It's gonna grow in fuller and thicker and everything else. And then we're just gonna keep working this all the way down so that we're going all the way down that hair, okay? So this time we wanna let it sit for two minutes and that way it's going to soak in and do all the goodness. So I'm gonna let it sit for two minutes and I'm gonna rinse it out. Okay, so all rinsed out and now we're on to conditioner. If you wanna see a little tip with this, you just turn it here, it opens up and if you squeeze, mine might not work because I've got, there you go. You squeeze what you need on top, close it, and then you just swipe. Now that might be, that's probably about right. It's about a nickel size. So I'm gonna swipe that right off the top there. That way I don't have a big mess of trying to <laughs> close that in the process. But I've been using our Intense Repair Conditioner and I'll tell you why. I just found out that it has three times the amount of Capixel in it than our regular conditioner. What? Do you know what Capixel does? It helps with hair growth and it helps strengthen the hair, all those good things that we want. So I am totally all about using the Capixel. Now, with conditioner, you start right about here and work your way down. Now, I do put mine closer to the head as well, but that's because my hair is curly, and I typically, you know, curly hair is typically more dry, so I do wanna get it all on my hair. And I'm gonna get it to go all the way down to the ends, and I also want it on my scalp so that it's gonna help with that regrowth. Now, did you guys know that every day, a human being loses 50 to 150 hairs a day? I'm gonna let this sit for just a second, and here's an important tip. Whenever you're rinsing out your conditioner, you wanna make sure you're using cool water because we want to close down the shafts on the hair strand, close down those little shutters on the shaft so that it keeps all that good stuff in there. If it's hot, you're gonna be opening those up and stripping everything right back out, so we wanna keep it nice and cool and let all that sit. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this. If you guys have any questions, please put it in the comments.